Okay, welcome to another exciting episode of Who, Who Wants to Design a Motor Controller. So, um, one of the things that has always been a concern to me has been what do we do um, if we had a stuck throttle pedal? Or what do we do <coughs> if um, we had a power stage failure? Now, um, the kind of general um, thing that people have have actually done with these EVs is that they would put some form of an um, emergency shut off into the system uh, that would basically break the high voltage traction circuit. I've seen this uh, done in various forms and essentially none of them have been something that I w would feel comfortable having in my car. Uh, they kind of everything from um, forklift type um, emergency stops uh, to choke cables going to circuit uh, to circuit breakers um, all these kind of things I wouldn't be um, happy to have in my car because they've always seemed to be a bit of a, a, a kind of a crude way to solve a potential problem so, <clears throat> what we have done with this uh, new controller build um, is that I have included the hardware uh, for a brake signal input. And Paul has very kindly done the software for me. So, we have a system set up here uh, whereby the controller um, essentially monitors uh, the the brake pedal in the form of the brake light switch and if it sees the brakes on and it sees a throttle input uh, it basically is going to, ig to ignore the throttle setting and uh, command a zero power power output. Now that is fine as long as the controller power stage is still functional. Um, but I guess the concern is, what if we had a problem uh, whereby the controller power stage had actually failed? Now, if that happens, uh, the first instinct that you're going to have is to take your foot off the uh, throttle pedal. Now, you're probably then going to stamp on the brakes also. So, <coughs> what the controller will do under those conditions is it will try to command a zero current. Now, if it finds that it cannot achieve uh, a current of less than 10 amps, it will command the main contactor to open. Now, that basically shuts down the high voltage traction circuit and uh, the car can then be safely brought to a halt. Now, I personally think that that kind of a system is far better than all these kind of crazy circuit uh, breakers and emergency pulls and pushes and all this kind of thing. So I, I just set up a little uh, demo here, just I've been testing the software on the bench and I just figured what the hell. Uh, may as well video of it. So, 
we've 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 got ourselves powered up here, and uh, let, let me see. What we got got a little LED here. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Come on, there, 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 there it is. Okay. So that LED is basically just um, uh, simulating the um, motor. So when I press my throttle pedal here, we get power. Okay. So happy days. Now let's say that we had a condition whereby we had a stuck throttle pedal. Okay. So the throttle pedal is stuck, and I basically just tap my my brake pedal. As you can see, the motor power is now totally off. Now I have to take the throttle fully off before the fault will clear itself again. And if I happen to be, uh, if I happen to have my foot on the brake pedal and I try to apply throttle, I don't get any power. And then I can take my foot off and I've got power back on again. So it's quite a simple little um, system but I think it's a good feature to um, to have and as I say <coughs> if the controller detects via the hall sensor that um, the power stage is not responding um, to commands as it expects it will command the main contactor to break the, the um, to break the traction circuit and that contactor being the Kilovac EV200 which is pretty much guaranteed to uh, to break I think a 2000 amp DC circuit at uh, something crazy like 300 volts or 350 so that's quite a, a a safe bet I would think so yeah that's it just a little demo on our brake signal input so if we're driving along just happen to touch the brake pedal we basically have to fully off the throttle before we can come back on so that's it folks, hopefully have this controller installed in the car soon and we can start having a play with it. That's it for now.